Good afternoon, faculty, administration, staff, distinguished guests, family and friends, and most importantly, good afternoon to the graduating class of 2010. Our class has come from all corners of the world, and we've taken many different roads to get here, but we made it. It is certainly an honor to speak to you today, and I would like to share three lessons that I have learned during my time at Rutgers. As we continue on our perspective paths and become leaders in our fields, it is important to remember those who influenced, and influenced us and recognize their voices in our own, you know, our legacy. The first lesson I'd like to share today is about legacy, and it came from the study of jazz. As a jazz musician, I spent a good part of my education honing my skills in improvisation. Now, you certainly don't have to be a jazz musician to know what it's like to improvise. Whether it's writing a five-page paper that was assigned four weeks ago and is due in two hours. You know Explaining to your RA how your roommate's mattress ended up in Stonesby. Or finding a parking spot within two blocks of campus. We're all very familiar with the art of improvisation. In some ways, something very true comes out of our voices when we improvise. In studying improv on the jazz trumpet, I've learned that in every voice, there is the echo of a legacy. When you listen to a jazz trumpeter, you don't just hear their voice. You hear Miles Davis, Lee Morgan, Dizzy Gillespie, Louis Armstrong, and every other voice that ever influenced that performer. You don't have to be a jazz musician to understand that we carry with us the legacy of every one of our heroes. Wherever we go, it is important to see the words of our family and friends, our educators and mentors, take life in our actions. We too will become a part of the legacy for all those we influence. This is both an honor and a tremendous responsibility, and you don't have to be a jazz musician to understand it. The second lesson is about discovery, and it came from travel. Whether you realize it or not, opportunities to travel are all around us. You don't even have to leave your house to do it, because travel is not about distance, but about discovery. And to discover, we must simply wander onto roads less traveled. In pursuit of our degrees, we've all done some serious traveling. Some traveled across oceans to pursue their degrees. Others took advantage of the opportunity to study abroad, immersing themselves in unfamiliar cultures and customs. Although the value of visiting other parts of the world is immeasurable, some of the most important discoveries I've made about myself, the world around me, and how I relate to it, have come from seeking new experiences, such as taking a course I never thought I'd take, or even learning to appreciate music I never thought I'd enjoy. Meeting people from other cultures and traditions is another form of travel. An individual can experience everything in life, but collectively, we've experienced quite a bit. It is at Rutgers that I first befriended veterans and international students, and it is during my time at Rutgers that I attended my first Passover Seder, or helped to care for the infant of a classmate. After graduation, let us remember to continue to explore worlds we've never experienced, and allow those discoveries and experiences to become a part of our legacy. Keep an eye out, and you'll be surprised by how much traveling you really do. The final lesson is about the unexpected. People always tell you to expect the unexpected, but all that really is is a classy way to say, be responsible. In reality, the unexpected, which defines us and characterizes us, which changes us and drives our life journey, cannot be anticipated. The unexpected doesn't happen because we were irresponsible or because we failed. The unexpected happens because it's a part of life. As much as we make plans for ourselves and as much as we try to prepare, our lives will not turn out exactly as we envision, and things will go, rarely go as planned. It can be painful, and it can shake you to the very core of your being. But in many ways, this is a beautiful thing. It's beautiful because somewhere in the midst of your disrupted plans and your fearful uncertainty, your character and identity is formed. You learn lessons about yourself that the expected can never have taught you. With enough time and the right perspective, you begin to see even the unexpected as an opportunity to travel. Mm -hmm. After today, some in this room will be starting their careers. Others will be continuing on to graduate and professional programs. Still others continue their search for the next step in life. Wherever you are heading, 
Know that our voices are forever united by the common legacy of our time at Rutgers Newark. So remember, wherever you go, be sure to seek out opportunities to travel so that when you are faced with the unexpected, you will be able to improvise. Congratulations to the class of 2002.